Parents with open dependency cases are getting the extra support and accountability they need to be successful. We know that most of the people uh, that come to a dependency case have issues with substance abuse and that uh, often treatment and testing is part of what's required on their DCS case plan. Family Treatment Court was established just a few years ago as a voluntary program for parents. We find that a high majority of parents who are in our dependency cases have had trauma as children or as adults and that trauma makes it really difficult for them to attain sobriety sometimes and to maintain recovery. During the hearings, a recovery coach is on hand to share her story. Basically what that means is that I'm an addict in recovery and I've been through this, uh, the DCS process before with my own children and was successfully reunified. The goal of the program is family reunification. People who participate in our program have a much higher success rate than the people who came to just observe and decided not to participate. It went from a 33% success rate at reunification up to 95% uh, success rate in the time period we studied. A group of experts in the courtroom also assist participants. We're kind of like the first face the client see, um, right from the referral to their enrollment. We will send the reports out to everybody in their case, so when they come to family treatment court, they will, they get a report that states how many calls they did, how many screens they did, if they were negative or positive, and how many substance abuse treatment groups they attended. I gather information on each client that's enrolled in the Terrell's Families First program, and basically I report how they're doing in their treatment. And what they do is they attend substance abuse counseling, other counseling that's provided to them through the different service providers. When they have uh, full compliance, there's rewards that uh, the parents get. A recent addition to the program is having the Department of Child Safety represented at the court. Sometimes initially just getting a hold of their case manager because the case managers have a lot of uh, work to do. So sometimes they may have called and they weren't able to get to the case manager, but I can actually either call the case manager or even look up the notes and the answers right there. And through the ups and downs, parents get the encouragement they need to keep moving forward. I want to celebrate these women and men because I know how hard it is for them and I know how hard they're working and I think we need to celebrate those, those achievements, big and small. An extra layer of support comes from a program called Parents for Parents. We're all parents who have went through it, so everybody that works with me is a parent who went through a dependency case. We help them with resources, we help them get in parenting classes. We are going to go over some goal settings. Through the FTC program, parents also get the opportunity to work on a community connection plan. By the time they leave, we know that they have a full set of resources just personalized to their family, what's in their neighborhood, what are their specific needs for their kids that help them to guide their family forward, including medical, educational, social needs. But it's really rewarding to know that uh, by the time they graduate from treatment court, they're feeling confident, they feel like they know what they need to do going forward. They know that it's not always going to be easy, that there's going to be struggles in the future, but they're much better equipped to handle those struggles. They help me get housing. I mean, just any concern that I had, I would come here and speak, speak of it and they would act on it. Each phase is preparing you to be able to do things on your own be accountable and responsible for your own actions, which is something that you can't do right away. You need that gradual increase. They help me get through a lot. I've been through a lot with no family support most of the time. And just missing my kids, it helped me concentrate on just pushing forward for them. It helped me stay focused and think about myself as well as my daughter and her needing me and not dwelling on the past. I wanted to prove that I was a better mother and that I had a reason to fight for my kids and show other parents that you can actually do better in your life. I am going to be a peer support counselor at Taros. Um, I start class in June, and it's a new life, you know? It's a new lifestyle. You have to completely change your people, places, and things, and yourself. And if you don't, you'll go right back. 
Aprendí a valorarme a mí misma como mujer, como madre, darle valor a mis hijos, a las cosas más importantes que son mis hijos más que nada. Commissioner Lane, she let she know that she's on your side. You know, the staff there, they, um, if you can't get a hold of your case manager or something, they will go the extra step to try to get a hold of them for you. Keep going, fight through it. Don't give up because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's been three years, four days, May 23rd, when my kids come home, they've been gone. So just keep going. Don't give up and just don't, you can do it.